Hey guys, what's up? This is Winter Boy 16 and I am doing my YouTube video at my grandparents' house on my computer because I forgot to bring my camera. But um this um in this YouTube video I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool vintage pickup that I got at a really big antique store and I got it for um $8 or $9, I'm not sure, but 8 or $9 and um it's really cool, and I think you guys are going to like it too, considering the fact that I have done multiple videos on my collection of fans and stuff. Well, this one will be a great addition to that. So let me get it right over here. This is um, the fan I got. And I know to you guys it probably looks really filthy and really dirty, but it's in really good shape. Um, I cleaned it out. I cleaned it up and I got it. It was really dirty and nasty and looked like it would hardly even run. But um, I cleaned it up and polished the blades. Not sure if you're able to tell, but there is a bit of a reflection in those blades. They're very nicely polished. Um, oiled the motor and all that stuff. And this thing is actually from the 1930s to 1940s. I'm not exactly sure, but it's um, 1930s, 1940s fan. Um, it's made by Eskimo. I'm not, I haven't heard of them before. I think they're a very, very rare company or very, very rare brand of fan. But um, don't let the weird name fool you guys. It's not a piece of crap like some of those other knockoff older fans like uh, Polar Cub or anything like that that is really old and um, but doesn't really perform very well. This fan is um, all steel or... Um, all aluminum, I'm not exactly sure, but it is a very nice high quality metal around the cage. The blades are solid aluminum, and the motor is cast iron. So it's a very, it's a pretty heavy fan. This thing probably weighs about 10 or 12 pounds, I'm not exactly sure, but it is pretty heavy. Um, on the front here, um, on the badge, it says Eskimo model 121A. If you guys want to look that up. And um, some of the other information is MC Grew Electric CO. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that one word. MFGE dot co dot DIV. Um, and the specs on it are 140 watts of power is what it draws. And it can go from one. 105 volts to 120 volts rated, and the uh, cycle is a uh, 30 hertz, I mean 60 hertz, which is regular wall outlet um, AC current. Um, the motor and all that stuff was very, 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 um, very dirty. It kind of had a bunch of uh, dust and grime on it, so I kind of cleaned that off. It's a, it's a really nice. Um, navy um, green or navy blue. I'm not exactly sure what this color is. It's a turquoise or I really have no idea what color this is, but it is a very nice um, army based color. Um, I guess this has been probably used in the army because it is that color and it is a very industrial high quality fan. And I'm not sure if I can show you guys this, but let me see if I can get you a simple view of it. I'm not sure if you can see that in there, but it does have an oil cap in there that you can unscrew and add oil to. And it um, has a brush that goes onto the stator or the commutator or whatever it's called. Um, and it oils it while it's running. And seeing how this doesn't have... Um, this doesn't even have bushings. It's pretty much a shaft going through a really 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 smooth piece of metal it's not even a bushing which is very surprising but um it's a pretty um pretty old um design it does have the oil cap like i told you in the front and then it has an oil port in the back you can see that the back is way dirtier because i have not cleaned i have not polished or done anything fancy to that side of it um of course the blades are um aluminum and um if it doesn't look like it's spinning very freely it has to spin at a higher rpm and it spins way f more freely at a higher rpm um this um motor is about um 
probably a 126, 132 horsepower motor. It's a very, it's a weak motor, but it's a very, very high quality motor, which makes it better than most of your 126 horsepower motors that we have of today. Seeing how it's a cast iron motor, fully serviceable. Um, it does have vents, which is a very um, bizarre thing for motors of this age. It does have vents in the back, um, vents in the front, but it doesn't, ha it doesn't have vents on the side, which is um, a very uncommon thing for a motor of this age. Normally, they would have either se sealed can motors or, um, or they would have all kinds of vents on them, or they'd just be open motors. But um, this has a ton of vents on it front and back, um, but it's, um, again, very um, high quality, all cast iron motor, cast iron motor, um, copper wiring, the um, cord on it, I don't think is an original cord, but it may be, but this is the plug, and, whoops, sorry about that, um, pardon the very bad taping job. It's because this part of this is actually cracked and it has missing pieces on it and stuff. I am going to replace the cord when I get home. Um, but, uh, so it does not have that. But I'm going to show you guys just how much power this thing has. So, make sure that it's turned off. And I'm going to plug it in. <clears throat> Plugs in rather easily and it still locks in place, which is it's a very, very, very sturdy plug for something of this age, but, um, I'm gonna stir it up and you guys are gonna hear the, um, I'm gonna first do it like this and you guys are gonna hear what the, um, motor starts up when it sounds, turns on. It has a very nice hum to it. And then here is its front view. it's coasting down speed, which it does, it takes a little while to coast down, which is really good for something of this age. Um, it hasn't been fully um, oiled yet, the um, oil still has to get to certain parts of the motor, but it is working its way there. And then again, the blades have stopped spinning. So this fan is actually a very, very, very um, high quality um, fan. Um, I can't wait to add it to my collection of them. This is way older than my patent fan. That is from 1970s, 1980s. This is 1930s to 1940s. So this is a, almost 100 years old. It is either, um, I think it's either uh, 96 or um, 86. I'm not exactly sure, but it is almost 100 years old. So this is a very, very, very um, high age fan. And it's in very good condition. I will probably repaint it. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't want to repaint it unless I absolutely have to. But um, either way, I just wanted to show you guys this because I think this is one of the coolest um, antiques I've found. And again, I got this for $8, which is a very good price for this, actually. Um, pardon their, that noise. There's a guy riding his lawnmower down the <laughs> side of the sidewalk. But, um, yeah, but, uh, $8, and I got a pretty good amount for that. This actually cost the same as my, uh, Smith Corona typewriter. I think that is an interesting fact. Um, it cost the same as that did when I got that. Um, this weighs a pretty decent amount. Again, 10 to 15 pounds, I mean, 10 to 12 pounds, which for a fan that is a, um, one foot, um, diameter or one foot radius so that's actually a pretty heavy weight um, but uh, again you with weight comes quality and this definitely has it again I'll turn it on for you guys so you can see it one last time This thing did not come with a stand, unfortunately, but it did come with this a little uh, knob on here that I can actually use to hang it from a rafter or um, my ceiling if I want to, but um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to put it in my window or do use it like that, but again, um, I just collected these things, so 
Um, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my video of this. Um, sorry it is not in the best quality. This is my laptop instead of my Canon. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed anyway. Um, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube. Bye.